Okay, so as we've won a couple, we can skip ahead to the next car, which is at the Nurburgring. Nurburgring is an interesting track. It's a very quick track, has quick turns, and I can tell just from what I'm feeling through the controller right now that this is a rather loose car. I can also tell that I braked way too far ahead. So uh, the Z4 is, I don't know exactly what the weight balance is, but I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, it's really easy to turn. It's like a 50-50 weight distribution or something similar. And this is a hard top, which I do like. Uh, I mean, in real life, I, I don't like soft tops at all. I think the Z4 body is really pretty, but the top is ugly as anything. So I do happen to be a little bit more familiar with this track than the previous ones, I would say. Although, usually it continues that way, um, at least in the in the way I play it. So I suppose that's just good for me as I've given myself more points at the checkpoint. I don't know. I don't really know how the points are counted in this. It's not it's not clarified by uh, a set of course of the game. You know, like they don't tell you much, and I, I just check to see how the points are counted. In this time attack, but the other thing is you get points subtracted for going out on the lawn, and I suppose you get more points the faster you go. So that seems simple enough to me. Uh, I don't know exactly how the points are calculated. But yeah, the weight transfer is <laughs> really awkward. You can see that my car was floating like a boat, but it looks like the car is really light. Like I can, I didn't remember this, but I can tell that. Um, it's, it's definitely braking very quickly. It's just, I believe we'll see it once I race with other cars. It's not fastest in acceleration, so there's that, but it's really quick with braking. It's not a heavy car, it's a rather light car, light and nimble. So I should be able to brake, let's say around here. Yeah, that was a bit far. Yeah, I thought I was maybe going a bit far on that one. But that's okay, I mean, at least we stayed in the lines. So that's not so bad. Ooh. That's, uh, that's the thing about the weight distribution. And also, it seems like the, you know, the weight transfer is <laughs> so slow. Uh, it's like a little bit. So, I'd be careful with that. And uh, try to get a good line here to where I can accelerate a lot, which is good. It, it takes it well. I, I like I guess it's not a very powerful car, it's not overpowered, so it won't kill you on acceleration, you know, the traction is not going to go crazy, but it really won't turn that quickly either. I think I know what it is, it's, it feels different and I think it's because I had traction control turned off in the previous uh, iteration of when I was doing this and traction control is on right now, which is okay. I mean, I feel like if you're doing it in a simulator, okay, this is my opinion, but doing it in a simulator, I mean, you can't feel all the g-forces, so why make it hard on yourself? The other converse of that is uh, the story that I was telling earlier, which is to say, if you keep traction control off in the simulator, you'll get better at catching your car, which means you're less likely to exceed limits. But I just know from experience that going on track, you just feel a lot more, and I can understand why uh, someone who's an actual race driver would be slightly, not confused, but put off by driving in a simulator. It's not that it's a bad representation of what's going on, it's just that it's merely visual most of the time. Uh, I mean, having the force feedback wheel helps this a lot, it gives at least some sense of, of what your car is doing. You can set it so you, so you exaggerate and feel certain things. But um, I just noticed this car is an automatic. So, but you know, it's not the same. It's not the same as feeling the G-forces and, and being cool and hearing the sounds and hearing the engine suffering and struggling and, and, and feeling the brakes are getting hotter and feeling the whole machine is going Going to the, it's getting punished, you know, it's going to the pain of going to a race and uh, feeling traction and it, it's just a lot more sensation and honestly adrenaline than when you're doing it in the simulator. It's, it's not the same for that respect. Uh, you feel that any 
lost is a lot less retrievable. Whereas in the simulator, you're, you don't mind taking risks. So, but yeah, I noticed this uh, vehicle is definitely an automatic, which is interesting. Oh, and also, you know, in the simulator, uh, on a screen at least, this is why I put it behind the car, is that you get, I think it's fair, you get a better sense of what's going on when you put it behind the car, just because you see wider. In real life, you have peripheral vision, you can see around it, and I do have a, a, a very new wide screen that I'm actually really excited by, and a new computer, which I'm extremely excited by, which is the fact that I just started this series, I kind of dreamt about it's like doing this in the past, but now I actually have the possibility to, which is really, really nice. I wouldn't have been able to record this, in fact, just the uh, just having multiple AI racing at the same time would make the screen stutter in the past, which uh, yeah, made it difficult to do anything. In the okay, so I just heard something, and this this is a good illustration of what I mean by actually feeling out what is happening in, in real life compared to on the simulator. Um, as I completely go off track. Uh, so we heard a little click as I went over the curb and it probably didn't sound like much, but I know why that happened. It's because our car is low and it hit something all the way down. Okay. So it, it doesn't sound like anything much, but what I mean is you'll set up your car on the track so that it's as low as possible. And uh, I know, like, I, I don't know, probably not every one of you has experience of driving a lowered car. I have my car in coilovers because I set it up for the track. And it just will catch any bump and hit things for no reason. Just because it'll scrape. Uh, there are just little fender guards at the front of the wheels, and they'll, when you hit a bump, you know, it'll scrape on the asphalt. And that's something that you wouldn't normally think of, but it really matters a lot in a race car. <laughs> you don't want to be hitting your race car anywhere. So, um, yeah, that won't show in the simulator. It's of no consequence, you know, like, it uh, probably doesn't have that even simulated in the simulator, like, hitting hitting a link and, a, you know, getting a link it undone. It, that won't matter in the simulator, but in real life, you definitely notice potholes, you definitely notice a lot more stuff, and you feel it, you feel the bumps, you know, if you're going over, uh, like, this is a very, very, very exceptionally flat track right now. I don't even know if this is latest laser scanned, I mean, a lot of the tracks in the several courts are, but I'm starting to have doubts, just because this doesn't feel, this feels like a smoothed out track, you know, it doesn't look like there's anything much going on with the, the heights, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think this is the beginning of the Nurburgring, which makes, yeah, this is definitely the beginning of the so probably it's the same map that's loaded in the memory. And this is an example of going too fast. Um, so, you know, they probably don't have a laser scan of the number green. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't want to defame anyone here. Uh, please don't take my word for it. But what, what I just mean is there are bumps that'll... Uh, they won't, they're not big bumps, they're just like unevenness in the road that'll make it so that your car kind of uh, jumps back and forth. Like you'll, and you'll hear it, the engine will do woo, 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 as you go over the bumps. Uh, that's with a tighter suspension. And maybe I'm just not feeling it because the suspension is not tight actually as I think of it. You know, this, this car is driving like a stock car, a stock car would. It, feels the brakes are really good but um the suspension not so much it's, it's kind of driving like a boat and that's exactly what happens on a track that was my experience with my car it was floating around and uh bringing it lower tightening the suspension this does a lot for the feel of the car so let's see how many points we've got 5,584. That's respectful. I think we could have done about uh, 6,000, ideal. 148, nothing exceptional. Our fastest lap was our last lap. We gained a couple of tenths. And we were quite close together in our laps. So, um, that's good. 